Welcome everybody. So we have a really cool conversation for you today. We have a CEO of a really cool company on with us who I keep seeing at all these events and shows. And, you know, I wasn't sure what I was looking at. It looked like it could have been a mini UFO that just landed as we're hearing on the news that there's people visiting us from different planets now, or it could have been a light, a night light for children. I wasn't sure, but when I got close, it was actually a really powerful EMF device that also structures water. Forget about the product for a second. We're going to dive deep into the science and understand why I personally have one at home. It's sitting right next to me. Really intrigued and blown away what it does. And that's why we invited Drag to join us here. So welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Cassie, for having me. And where are you right now? And you're in Europe or? Uh, no, I'm currently in Prague. You're in Prague. So okay, part, cool. Yeah, part of the team is in Prague and part is in, part is in the US. Okay, fantastic. So we... We, yeah, we, we, I, we've spoken a few times. We keep seeing each other at different events and so such. Um, I use your product, but I think people really need to know the science behind what we're talking about. Um, so first of all, I, you don't even come from the industry. And I know that the, the inventor was another person. And then you came along and said, no, we, this needs to go to the world. So tell us a bit of the backstory of how this all came to be. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So... Uh, as, as you mentioned, uh, the inventor and uh, I would say some other, you know, like products and, and stories and services in, in the health and wellness, uh, some of it has a similar, let's say, background or initiation where it was, it came to be out of necessity because the, the founder, Ivan, the, the inventor, uh, he was struggling with his health. And he, you know, the, the doctors were not able to help him. He had some uh, uh, lupus and pancreatic problems. And uh, later he found out that it's mainly to, due to uh, like uh, environmental factors as, uh, as uh, EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies and geopathic zones. And so he started to experiment with Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine and of course lowering the, the EMF exposure. And uh, it turned out that it's working pretty well. Uh, so he, he was able to, to heal himself. He is an, like an IT guy and a mathematician. So, uh, you know, like no, no doctor or anything like that. And uh, then he started to help his family and friends, which was working as well. And, uh, you know, in uh, 2011, he created uh, the, the very first prototype. And... Uh, yeah, so so I had a similar story again, health transformation in 2012, uh, and uh, since then, you know, I had the co calling the urge to 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 help people. Uh, I didn't know how that would manifest. Uh, I just uh, had uh, you know I just have been through through this uh, similar problems, and then you know like I found uh, I stumbled upon Simovedic. Uh, and it just like clicked immediately. I knew like, wow, this is something I want to do, something I want to bring bring to the world. And this was uh, late 2018. And then I uh, yeah, so set up the company in, in 2019. And uh, yeah, we can we can talk about the rest. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I mean, we I know that you're solving a big problem, but a lot of people don't know the extent of the problem. You know, we've heard the term EMF. What's what's going on in our reality and what's the actual threat level like how bad is it yes so it's it is a pretty significant threat in in about 100 years the levels of electromagnetic pollution in our environment where we live is more than billion billion times higher that yeah, means I, I gotta pause you for a second Billion, billion. So take one billion yes. and multiply that by a billion. By a, by a billion, yes, exactly. And this okay. was this was in 2015, you know. And now we have 5G, so you can add to it uh, another set of numbers. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean, basically? That you know, it's like exponentially growing, and uh, so you know, like 100 years. That's not even like two generations of people. Yeah. So the biology 
had absolutely no chance to adapt our our biology to this kind of extreme increase in in EMF levels. It's pretty significant. The the effects are pretty significant because there are like thousands and thousands like peer reviewed studies showing the adverse effects of EMFs uh, on our brain, on our sleep, on our fertility, you know, on, uh, on, on, on plants, on animals and you name it. But, you know, the, the thing is that for some people, you know, that are not familiar with, with what are like EMFs, it's, you know, it's this, like it's this invisible field that uh, wireless uh, you know devices are using to communicate between each other like cell phones wi-fi routers now the the conversation that that we are now having uh, is also based on on uh, you know like wireless devices and uh, basically everything that runs on electricity emits some kind of emfs uh, but the main emitters are again Wi-Fi cell phones and and uh, and uh, you know like cell phone towers. So is is the threat between? I hear what you're saying. It's this digital communication. So there's this constant flow of waves, right? Is that a different threat than say the radiation from the battery? Or are we talking about two different things? Uh, for example, if you have like a, a electric car uh, that. That, that runs on battery so there is like a uh, lots of electricity like amperes uh you know like lo- running around it is emitting quite a significant number of emfs as well but so battery itself does not emit uh unless it's it's uh plugged in but but it would need to be like a, you know like a powerful battery for example like like in the car but more of a threat i would say are the wi-fi routers that we have sometimes really close to, to yeah. our bodies and even like headphones wireless headphones that you can see everywhere especially in adults in teenagers in young children so what does your you you know all this and you know it through actual scientific research that you read so what does your house and office look like you know what is because the, the reality of how like we're online right now right yeah so what do you do so my computer, some of the, because I have like desktop cube computer. So that desktop computer is uh, plugged in through uh, LAN cable. Uh, it does not have the, the wireless uh, internet. I We do have a wireless router in the home because there are kids around. And, uh, you know, that would be like, uh, you know, tough, tough for them. Yeah. Uh, but the, the router is set, uh, you know, as further away from all the places that we tend to spend time. So it's the furthest away from living room and uh and our our bedrooms. Mm. Uh so and so so that's one of the things. Then uh I don't use any as I mentioned already, uh like wireless headphones, wireless keyboards or or mouse uh that emit you know through through Bluetooth like EMFs. Uh and uh I I do have like an EMF like a blocker uh, around uh, around uh, the the Wi-Fi router on that it does not uh, is not emitting uh, the the EMF into certain direction, and uh, and during the night uh, I have uh, like a I don't say like a kill switch, but uh, there's a timer that is turning off the the Wi-Fi router uh, after <clears throat> 11, 30, 11 30 p.m. because you know, uh, everybody sleeps and you don't need the, the the router and it's just just interfering with your brain waves and sleep. Hmm. And then your so now your device, Somavedic, you plug this into your home and all of a sudden there's a sense of safety because what exactly is it doing to mitigate the EMF? We try to, uh, you know, educate people around the topics of, of EMFs. Because uh, even though yes, you know we I'm I'm, I'm producing and, and selling this this device that it's uh, helping you uh, to mitigate the EMF effects. Mm-hmm. What we always try to suggest is to lower the the EMF exposure as much as possible. So it's uh, you know like Somovedic is not like a, a 
magic bullet or pill that like one solution to fix all, all of your problems. It's, you know, it's adding all of these uh, like even small steps and things into your life that make uh, makes a huge uh, make a huge impact. So lowering the EMF exposure definitely, as I mentioned, some of the things that we can do, uh, and uh, also adding uh, a somovatic into it would be uh, one more thing because the data we have that that is compared uh, comparing uh, EMF free. Uh, the human cells in an EMF-free environment, which was like a, a made in, in a lab. So mm -hmm. this kind of environment, like, of course, does not exist in normal cities, uh, probably in, in some in woods. And then we were comparing that to how the human cells behave in normal environment, in like a normal EMF level environment. And then we added... Uh, some of it in into into that environment, and there was a, a like a significant increase in the cellular uh, cellular regeneration. So it was not like that that the cells would behave like a totally non EMF environment, but there was a, a pretty significant uh, improvement. And you said something important there about cellular regeneration because people people don't actually understand the mechanism. They're like, okay, I get this stuff is bad. And you use words like infertility and bad sleep and mood, but what's actually the trigger? Like what's happening? And we're saying like your cells literally have challenges regenerating because of the EMF. So the, the core biological functions kind of shut down. Yes. Yes. So, so one of the uh, most known biological explanations around EMFs is that basically they increase the EMF is increasing the levels of free radicals, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, that which is oxidative stress, which means the cells are aging faster. And this is doing, this is going on through, uh, VGCCs, voltage gate calcium channels that, uh, are opening up uh when the, the there's a emf in, in the environment and are letting calcium into the cells which is something that we don't want uh and through this the uh, you know the, the the cell is fighting it and uh, the the levels of uh, free radicals uh, are increasing mm. and this research is this if you were to go to say a clinician do they accept this as valid or do they say, well, this is not review, this has not been studied? Yes, yeah, so that's <laughs> that's that's a really good good question. Uh, the the research is uh, the research is validated, but there is, you know, in in mainstream media you would not have someone uh, like confirming it, but uh, but uh, you know, even uh, RFK Jr. that is running for for presidency, he's he's one of the outspoken persons around EMFs and, and children, and he won uh, uh, like cases or knows about cases where people won uh, that, uh, for example, Wi-Fi routers were causing cancer. Yeah, I find it it's a bit ironic because you like you said the mainstream message. Uh, what both sort of medicine and media is told is that it's safe. We have safety reviews and it's safe, right? But when you go buy a cell phone and you read the fine print, it literally says, do not keep it close to your body. When you're using it, it has to be, I think, a minimum of one inch away from your body. So the actual safety, which, which nobody reads, right? It's yeah. deep, buried deep in this pamphlet that comes with the phone that looks like it's all about phone function, but there's a major safety warning in there, which is required to be put in there because it's true. But then you had this kind of conflicting message, which is what you actually have access to, which is, no, it's safe. So where does yeah. the safety data come from? Exactly. You know, so it would be really hard to change the, the, the industry, but it's something that we really need to, you know, all of us, you know, need to work on through education and, and talking about it because it needs to be out there in the in, in the mainstream. Because 
you know the the safety standards and the principle how the safety was was uh, was was set up and measured are really like like outdated and since then uh, as i mentioned before like the 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 rate uh or the emf levels that are emitted by the devices uh, exponentially increased and not only that the level of the emf increased uh in in the in the cell phones for example we have now so much more things around us that uh, that are wireless and, and sensors mm. uh, that are like measuring like ev- everything. There's a huge lobby, a uh, huge you know like like money behind it. It would cost the industry a lot to even admit, yes, this is wrong because you can imagine you know then the lawsuits and and everything and uh, but of course, I hope that uh, one way or the other, in the near future, uh, we, you know, we would be able to do something about it, and the companies, you know, would, uh, you know, would change their approach, uh, because with the rollout of the five G, there are no tests that or studies showing that uh, that the five G is safe. Mm. Uh, as as uh, Dr. Merkola wrote a book about it something along the line that is the you know like the the biggest biological experiment currently wow Uh, and what you said about safety data from what i read the safety data that we use today meaning the fda and whoever's regulating emf and its consequence on health that's research was done in the 1980s and it has not been updated and if you look at a phone from the 1980s it was a brick, right? It, was, it wasn't the supercomputer that we now have in our hand, which is so much more powerful in the 5G environment. Um, so that safety data is completely irrelevant to today's context. And that safety data was done on male adults from the US military. It wasn't done on children and women with the yeah. skull thickness is not the same, right? So yeah, yeah the, people need to take charge of what, safety did even means like you know use your the kind of content you're talking about there's there's enough studies there's one study around safety data from the 80s but there's many many more telling you about how, how powerful it can be yeah uh, and one thing you said i want people to consider it's not just about how safe is my phone how safe is my wi-fi the the total load it's you're not only using your phone you're in your phone in a home or an office with all these other signals and the total load, even as one thing is maybe too much, but when you consider all of what you're exposed to and you really start to think and count it all, it and is all of the time, yes. all the time, constantly, it's yes. exhaustive. It is completely yeah. exhaustive. And this is why perhaps what Paula said is right on. It's like, we're going to see in 10 years what happens, right? So, um, yeah. so now your device helps mitigate all this at home. And now if I take your device, so, so like, for example, I have it, I can see it. It's about 20 feet away from me. What do I need? Do I need like one in every room or do, how does that work? Basically what's inside the, the Soma Vedic, uh, there are various like precious stones and minerals and uh, frequency therapy technology. And what it does, uh, it's, or what makes the Soma Vedic unique, it's the combination, you know, of the, uh, let's say the, the the Western technology with with Eastern uh, approach, and we amplify basically the frequencies and and vibrations of the of the crystals. But there's the there's the you know technology uh, in that, and what it is doing is creating this coherent field uh, around it. So it has about one hundred feet radius uh, into all directions. And it, it is penetrating like walls, walls and floors. So we've done some measurements, you know, with the bioresonance devices. We had some people uh, with, uh, you know, uh, let's call them with extrasensory abilities that were able to see the field and they said uh, it has a shape of a torus. One somovedic is, uh, is enough. Uh, to have uh, in in an apartment or or uh, in a house, usually we recommend placing it in somewhere in the middle of it, uh, so it reaches you know all all of the rooms, 
uh, so it's like kitchen or bedroom uh, and uh, so you can also structure structure uh, structure water with it so tell us about structuring water because we are hearing more and more of this uh, and first of all people like what like I didn't even know I needed to do that what does that even mean so give us a bit of a deep dive into what is that and why do we need it yeah so so one of the first scientists that got the the, the structured water uh, theme or topic uh, into the into the mainstream was Masaru Emoto, the okay. famous famous just Japanese scientist who basically showed the world how uh, emotions are affecting uh, the the crystals of water. Uh, and you know we are more than seventy percent uh, water, so he was basically showing you know, what we think has a, or our emotions, they have a, like huge effect on the water in our bodies. So what is structured water? Uh, structured water is when you freeze the water, the water crystal, and you'll have a look uh, at it on the microscope. It would have, the crystal would have really nice geometric shape. It would look like a snowflake, like really nice, like, like snowflake. Uh, if water is not structured, the, the, the crystal would be chaotic. There wouldn't be any regular shape to it. And, but why is this important is that because in our bodies, there's only structured water. And so if we drink structured water, the body needs to, uh, like structure it, but the structured water is the most like bioavailable state of the water we can drink. It's not that it's a different like chemical like a composition, but if you drink, you know, like the same amount of non-structured and structured water with the structured water, you get a better like bioavailability. You get more hydration from the same amount, and and. It's positively affecting because uh you know all of the all of the the organs the the hydration and everything yeah because i think what people don't understand is when we talk about um you know we are mostly water right it people picture liquid but when it's in your body it's more of like a crystal type structure right and we don't understand because we aren't taught that that's what we mean when we say we're mostly water yeah it's h2o that's been crystallized into a crystalline type context and that's what your body needs to do in order for your cells to be healthy and it's so much easier to do with structured water so is was this an intention behind the device or was it kind of like a byproduct it just kind of happened that's a really good question uh it was not a byproduct there was a, a r d process behind it because right. the very first somovatic years ago you had those that were structuring the water uh, you had to have uh, a specific amount of water next to the somovatic for a specific amount of time. Mm. Uh, if you would leave it there, you know, to, for longer period of times, the water would be, let's say, like too energetic, it like too pumped up, or or how to say it. And uh, but again, uh, through different combination of, of uh, you know, like crystals and minerals even like made the, uh, you know, the, the right combination. So you can, you can uh, leave like, doesn't matter what kind of like amounts of water next to it for, uh, you know, uh, for hours and, and, and days. So there was, there was a, there was a process behind it. Masaru Emoto and what his research. So he's, he was trying to, uh, you know, he, he was trying to, uh, like create this, uh, and that, that it will have a similar effects uh, on the water. Hmm. Very cool. I, I tried it and there's literally a taste difference. It's like kind of like crisp. Like when you drink water from a river, you get that crisp kind of icy flavor to it. Same water. I don't know. It, you can literally. Yeah. Know yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so because you know, like, because you, uh, of course, like structured water, that's the most like natural state of the water you can usually find in, in rivers, but uh, there's no structured water from tap or plastic bottles or glass, like any, like, there's 
it's just it's just losing its uh, structure throughout uh, as it's getting uh, to to our homes because it's picking up all the energies you know and environment uh, from uh, yeah from from the environment so so the it is structuring uh, it is changing the structure of the water but what's interesting uh, yeah so you mentioned yes there's a difference difference to the taste uh most people describe it as it's more like smooth or and, and silky yeah so i experienced that also uh texture and flavor and i also noticed like uh i put it to the side and my kids started using it and they enjoy the water better right like so it's like actually satisfying to them you know because there's this you drink water and you pee it out half an hour later and you're not actually hydrated and then you're then they start drinking juice and other stuff and like you know so this is actually satisfying to them so it, i'm finding it's working well uh and then what do you do so you know one thing you said there about the uh, river water etc this is just making me curious because i've heard as a sort of survival skill that if you're lost in the forest you drink running water because it cannot be uh you know infected or make you sick right still water mm-hmm may have you know bacteria or some kind of flora something yes. that makes you sick and i'm guessing that probably has something to do with the structuring because the water itself is kind of has an immunity to it so what is uh like structuring the water uh, is one of the things because there are various ways how to structure water uh like uh, for example spiraling you know when you spiral water uh yeah. then yeah. that that's what's making uh, uh structured water but but one of the ways and i used to do it like this even uh, even before somovetic everyone can structure water just by their by their hands and thoughts you know so yeah. you just put a glass of water like hands around it uh and you just you know for a couple of seconds like 30 seconds one minute you just are thinking positive thoughts or just think you are thinking to the water uh it it will change the structure it's the same thing as masaru emoto was uh, was describing in his yeah. and showing the photos of his experiment and with this you can structure the water with uh, positive emotions and uh, the the taste changes changes as well Oh, that's interesting because I remember going to a water bottling facility here in Toronto and the gentleman had somebody on staff who was speaking to these giant bats of water. Like these, these things were probably, I don't know, 14, 15 feet tall, you know, massive bats of water. And he had scripture kind of written on the bats and then somebody speaking. I was like, what is going on here? He's like, yes putting energy into the water and he didn't i don't know if he used the word structure because at that time i wouldn't have recognized it anyway but he was talking about energizing the water and changing its benefit to the individual right yes yeah. that's 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 a really great example of a you know a conscious company and conscious working with the environment and words and and uh, intentions and water and everything because for example some of our customers you know uh they they said that you know since they have some of it for example they their uh, plants grow faster or their leaves uh, are are much, much bigger or the right. pets behave behave differently you know so so you get all of this uh you know uh, various let's say benefits when you when you in incorporate like coherent field in, into into the environment Yeah, that coherent field is key. That's what we're talking about because people think of it as an EMF blocker. Like it has a very specific task, but the EMF blocking is kind of an outcome of a coherent field. Right? When you're balancing yeah. all the waves, that's one of the benefits, but there's so many other things including childhood behavior. Like literally it will affect the way children behave with their with their parents and their schooling, etc. Yeah, 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 th- definitely. You know, so the very first intention behind some of Edic was to mitigate the effects uh, of of EMFs, but uh, and we, you know, keep telling that that people, 
uh, because it has, you know, it is, this is what it is doing. But at the same time, you know, it has like so many other like, you know, positive and versatile effects. You know, it helps with the, with the sleep, with, uh, with mood, people around it feel, you know, more calm or, or more in peace. Uh, they, uh, they don't have, get, they get rid of like, like brain fog. Uh, some, some, uh, we, especially women, they said that, uh, the migraines are gone. So yeah. Uh, and you know, as I mentioned, like the, you know, the sleep, the energy, the, the migraines, the plants, the, the pets, the children, it's all thanks to, thanks to the, thanks to the coherent field. Cause it's. It's hard to hard to measure, but we can measure the the effects uh, on on our bodies or the 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 experiences people have when they keep the same or very similar experiences keep repeating. Then uh, you know that uh, there's something something positive going on. Hmm. That's awesome. And now I know that now getting into the actual device. When I saw mine, it was this beautiful green machine uh started to work right away but you have different products you've made for different purposes so do you mind telling us about what those are we have uh we have three three main products one is uh silver uh that's called sky uh the other one is the is the the green uh the vedic it's is the one that you have uh uh it, that's the best seller and then we have like this ember uh, but the main differentiator between them is uh, is if they structure water uh, and uh, the strength of the field. You know, if they are strong enough to to uh, mitigate the the five G effect. So so that's the that's the main differentiator. So we have three these uh, like basic uh, basic models, and the Vedic that you have uh, is the you know I would say the 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 all in one. Uh, all-in-one solution with the with the strong EMF mitigation effects and water structuring capabilities. Okay, makes sense. And is is what I have, for example. So I have a you know main floor, upstairs, basement. I plug it in in the middle, and I'm good to go. Or what what do you need? Yes. So so they were designed to be uh, on like twenty four seven. You just uh, you just plug it in. Uh, it uh, emit, it doesn't emit any any smell any sound. It just emits light from the from the LED, uh, LEDs that are uh, in in the bottom, and those are there for uh, like diagnostic, because otherwise you would not be able to tell, uh, you know, because it's not emit anything anything we can you know like perceive with our senses. You would not be be able to tell if it works or not. So thanks to the LEDs, if one of them uh, like goes uh, goes off, uh, you know we know that uh, uh, there's something wrong, and uh, we'll just exchange to with the exchange to some of Eric for a new one. And we have uh, like a five five years warranty, where usually you have uh, twelve months or twenty four months. Uh, we give a five year warranty, and in that period we exchange it uh, exchange it for a new one but yes uh one is enough and you just plug it in even if it's not plugged in because the 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 principle and the core behind it are those various precious stones and minerals in a certain configuration it works even if it's not not plugged in oh really yeah that's really cool so they're just air yeah, conditioning functionality when it's plugged in yeah it has uh so to get the full efficacy the 100 percent, it needs to be plugged in uh but it has about 50 to 60 percent efficacy when it's not plugged in wow i didn't even know that that's something i just learned you know and, I, and i've seen you know a lot of sort of biohacking health and wellness type influencers you know talking about your product and using your product and it seems to be that a lot of the thought leaders are relying on your product, at, even at in their own homes. You know, since two thousand nineteen, uh, basically we are, uh, you know, very well established in the biohacking and health and wellness uh, community. One of the first people 
uh, one of the first influencers, uh, like uh, in in the history of the company in the U.S., was Ben Greenfield, and mm. this was really uh, early early 2020. Uh, so and since since then, you know, like there's uh, Luke Story, you know, there's there's Dave Asprey, you know, Min, Mindy Pelts, like like lots of like MDs, biohackings and uh, biohackers and, and other, other influencers, uh, most of them, you know, because they measure, uh, you know, uh, all of yeah. the, like some of their vital signs, of course, thanks to various uh, wearables, uh, what, uh, most of them have, uh, have in common is that, uh, that is improving, uh, you know, the, the HRV, uh, the, mm-hmm. the, since, you know, they can precisely time it since the, they entered, uh, you know, since they got this, got the sum of it, how the HRV improved. Yeah. I think that says a lot because you're talking that all the names you mentioned, they already have access to everything. You know, they've, they've done it all. They tried it all. People are shipping them stuff all day long saying, Hey, please try my product. And if they're saying, well, this is the thing that actually changed the number for me. That is saying a lot. You know, we've worked with all of the, everyone you talked about, Mindy, Ben, et cetera. Ben is a biohacking nut. He's done everything. Yes. Right? And that guy, I think he's like 3% body fat, superhuman, you know. So to, to move the needle on him, that's a big deal, you know. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, you know, but so... Uh... So yes, we have, you know, we have these, uh, let's say, uh, like influential people. Uh, but what I love about the, the, you know, the product are it's like versatile, uh, you know, like, like benefits, but, uh, at the same time that we have, you know, the 60 day money back guarantee. Mm. So. Yes, you can trust someone or you don't need to, but everyone has a chance to experience it for two months and right. decide, yes, it's it's worth the money or no, it's not. And then we'll give them like a full refund. So there's basically zero, zero risk. Yeah, no, that's awesome because you're putting your money where your mouth is, you know, <laughs> that's the confidence speaks through your policy there. So. And yeah, I, I can testify to the benefit I receive. You know, EMF has always been a major concern for me because of the kids. You know, that's when you start to really think about it. And they're on yes. their devices and they're at school on devices. And, you know, the TV's on, the games are on, the Wi-Fi is firing all day long. And you'd see it. Kids today walk out into a shopping mall, go to a school. They do not look like the last generation. The way they behave, their intention you know, the way they treat their parents, there's something yeah. off in neurology, right? And it's, they're, they're not all different. It's there's the, the environment is different. The load is different and they're struggling yeah. and it's a silent struggle that we don't even recognize, you know? Yeah, definitely. There's so much like information overload, uh, you know, even for adults, not to mention like small, small, small children. Uh, so it's you know it's hard to keep up uh you know as a as as a parent and you know you don't want to all you well the best you can do is do the the explanation you know explain them you know why this why why that and uh, even though you know you might sound like a like like a nut you know throughout the time uh you know the time will tell uh this is yeah. this is what i learned you know the time will time will always tell and uh, in the U.S., unfortunately, uh, there are the safety standards in public areas uh, around like uh, EMF levels are like hundred or thousand times higher than you know, for example, in France or or even here in in in, uh, in Czech Republic. Yeah, I know that in France they banned devices in I think elementary primary type settings like young kids right some, yes exactly and on, in on some schools they they ban wi-fi, uh, they ban like wi-fi yeah. together yeah and there's a lot of research coming out of india they seem to be 
really leading the charge on EMF awareness, right? Whereas in the US it's denied, it's not a problem, it's safe. In the India, the government is talking about it. They just published a report saying that they've noticed a 400% increase in brain tumors in teenage children. And when they say t- teenage is because that's the age where they've been exposed for seven or eight years yeah. now, right? So yeah. now that they're getting into that age, it's not that teenagers have brain cancer. It's not like teenagers have been exposed for 10 years, right? Yeah. So now they're getting to that. So they've seen a 400% increase and they're very directly blaming it on EMF. Yeah. You know, and I, this, you know, yeah. Un, 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 unfortunately, you know, it's, it's a tough, uh, it's a tough fight. We can do only in your home environment. There's a lot you can do with, uh, as we, with the small steps that, that we mentioned already to lower the, 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 the actual EMF exposure, especially not wearing, uh, you know, uh, wireless headphones because you tend to like listen to podcasts or music with it. And so the exposure is much, much longer. Hmm. Uh, but for example, I have a friend that had, uh, a small tumor in the middle of his brain. It was a very, very complicated surgery. And the doctor told him like, this is, you have this from, from, from your cell phone. Hmm. That's unbelievable, man. Yeah. I have a friend that I know the same, um, successful executive who, was on her phone all day, all night to the point where I remember when she got out of surgery, one of the first things she did was texted me about like some issue that was unresolved. You know, I was like, what are you doing? You're in the hospital, put your phone down, you know? So uh, yeah. that's that culture that go, 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 you know, North American, if you're not doing it, you're weak, you're a failure and don't let that get to you. Right. That's, that's exactly why, like you said, people are, literally getting surgeries to deal with their cell phone exposure. It's unbelievable, you know? So, but yeah, so it's, it's one thing to break the habit and understand the threat. It's another thing to support and understand that there's only so much you can control, right? Like your, your kids need tools. You're going to watch TV. You're going to need your laptop for work. You're going to go to other buildings and offices and, you know, so at least control your home environment and give yes. yourself a breather, give yourself a break, give yourself a place to be. That's somewhat toxin free. Right. Yes, um, exactly. And that's exactly. why we want to thank you for the work you've done because you're, you're kind of making that possible, you know? Uh, yeah, we are trying to do our best, you know, but, uh, like much more people, much more companies need, need to talk about this. Uh, I mean, the, the general trend is, is good. Uh, I mean, it's getting, one of the, the, no one, the only positive thing about the 5G rollout was that it got into mainstream. Uh, yeah. You know, like, yeah. is it safe? Is it not? Before, the, there was no such uh, condensed discussion, you know, about like if it's, if it's safe or if it's not. With the 5G rollout, that, yeah, I would say that's the, the only uh, positive thing that uh, there's much more, you know, awareness and discussions around it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That awareness is there. And, you know, thank you for making it even more there. Like you're out there speaking, showcasing, I see you at the events, you know, pushing. So, and now we have some solutions. So it's awesome. I'm using it. I feel it's incredible. Enough of the right people have said good stuff about it, like Ben, like Mindy, like Dave, for example. And it's great to see. Because uh, I, the reason I say that is because there are a lot of people out there selling like what they claim to be EMF blockers. EMF, they just don't really do anything, you know? Yeah. Uh, and so mm-hmm. it's difficult for someone coming into this. Like, how do you navigate? What do I do? You know? Yeah. So this is a product where myself, many others have used it and it, and it works. So it's great to see you doing that. So I want to thank you. Uh, thank you for taking the time, you know, cause it was great to educate everybody and, and thank you for the work that you do. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.